Hey, let's talk about the modern <laughs> world. I want to pull up this story because we'll talk about what's going on. This is from New York Post. <laughs> Act your wage is the new quiet quitting. Visibility doesn't pay the bills, say Gen Z workers. Yo, the future is yours for the taking. Gen Z, not all of them, but there are such lazy, vapid, spineless, and pathetic individuals. This is what your wealth hath wrought. Could you imagine going to like the greatest generation and being like, if you fight this war, you will you will make this. And them being like, well, that's a noble cause. Let's do it. <laughs> They're going to be like, wow, that's sad. These Gen Z workers are saying, don't let them see you doing anything and just do nothing and get paid because you're worth it. What do you think, Andrew? Um is that a fair it, depiction? Money is a human right or something. Like <laughs> I it, it, this the I've I've heard all about this this you know the quiet quitting and I've talked about uh with friends about people actually working like going back to work in an office and um I was watching uh, last night, Tucker Carlson was interviewing Dana White and he was like, yeah, like, you know, a couple weeks after the beginning of the pandemic, everybody came back to the office and was working in the office. And there's, there's a lot to say about working in an office because you can, it's easier to micromanage your team. It's easier to say, uh, get your work done as opposed to, I'll just keep moving your mouse like every 15 minutes while you you're showering and cooking and playing with your cat you know uh it's it's almost it, i think at the beginning of the pandemic a lot of people were were worried about losing their jobs i'm working at home i need to show my boss that i'm actually doing stuff now we're having this this debate whether you should you know work your worth or you're working too much for for less money it's just, it's it's all ridiculous i mean all of this from remember van life that was really big yeah mm -hmm. yeah i'm just like uh, well let, let me slow down there was this woman who made two videos and got like two million subs and they said it was an it was a mistake in the algorithm or something and i'm just yes like, <laughs> i'm like it's really convenient that there's a movement forming telling people to sell off all their positions and live in squalor at a time when they're also campaigning against climate change i'm sorry it just doesn't sound like a coincidence it sounds like they intentionally prioritized talking about how cool it is to live in a van. But, Wouldn't it be great to have nothing? I bet the algorithm You'll, you'll own nothing it. and you'll be happy. And then they're like, wait, wait, where do I poop? And then like, this is horrible. Yeah, but I do love that. Like, you have help. an RV and you have an RV. I built do you a have van. an RV? I built a van and it's got a full functioning uh, Blackwater system with a toilet and a shower and everything. Yeah, like, you know, a human being. Like you're, you know, you guys, point is, you guys have, you guys have a decent amount of income that you can do that. Not everybody can, uh, can take a sprinter van. That's not the, that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make is, I'm sorry. YouTube was promoting people oh, yeah. giving up their possessions to live in a van. Something about it is charming though. I've always kind of had the desire to like hop in a motor home and tour the planet, you know, in my yes. retirement, my old age or whenever. But then the realism is that it's hard to get stuff done. 